like if you have hooded eyes or if you have smaller eyes the trick is to go light to dark with smaller eyes but bigger eyes is dark to light so no light to dark wait hold on so bigger eyes is light to dark smaller eyes is dark to light there we go right no light to dark light to dark okay i was right oh my god my brain you guys so bigger eyes is light to dark hey guys what's up if you're new here thanks so much for joining me i'm roxanne and welcome to my channel if you are not new thanks so much for coming back and clicking on another video Today, you guys, I used the new products in Anastasia Beverly Hills Spring Launch. I used the Riviera Palette, the Dewy Mist, the new gel eyebrow product, and her new highlighters. I really enjoyed most of the products. The palette was a little bit hard for me to use. Some of the mattes were really, really difficult, like, to use. I mean, the blending was really chalky. Um, it just wasn't turning out the best. So in the end, it turned out okay, as you guys can see from the look that I have. I really am glad that I went neutral on the upper part of my eye because the pop of blue, I think, is what saved the look altogether. Yeah. So as you guys will see in the video, it was really difficult for me to blend out the shades. It just felt like they were blending away in my, you know, in my crease. I'm going to play with the palette a little bit more. I want to use the pinks and the purples in it. So I'm going to play with it a little bit more and hopefully do another tutorial for you guys. Shades. So I'm going to go ahead and do some swatches for you all. I know that there are a ton of videos now out on this palette. It doesn't stop from doing my own. So let's go ahead and just show some swatches really quick. And I'll talk to you guys about my thoughts on each of the products that I used. So I will go ahead and talk to you about my thoughts, show you some swatches, and then we will move on to the tutorial. So let's jump in. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start with the palette itself. First thing I notice, you guys, is that there's a lot of fallout. I mean, you can even see like right here, there's a ton of fallout from when I use the blue shade right here. So that's to be expected because it is a shimmer shadow, but it just, it was really difficult to work with it on my lower lid. I had to go in probably three or four times to really get the pigmentation that I wanted underneath. It looks pretty now, and I mean, even from like far away, it looks really pretty. I haven't done a look like this in a really long time. I haven't even really used shadow in like four or five months, so I was nervous about how it was gonna come out, but you know, all in all, in the end, it was okay. So let's go ahead and do some swatches of the shadows, and then I'll share my thoughts with you about the overall, I guess, my overall thoughts on the palette. So the first one is Sales. It's a really pretty, just white shade, and it is quite pigmented. It's hard to get a nice white shade or nice white shadow um, so I'll have to play with this one and see I mean it comes off really pretty on um, my hand and then the next one I did use on my lid this is the shade Yacht and it's just a really pretty like bronzy shade which you guys know I'm all about so this one is what's on my lid as you guys will see in the tutorial or in the demo and then I use this shade underneath my lash line I don't even know how to pronounce it is that Sicilies, Sicilies, I'm not sure. But it is a really, really pretty blue. It just took a minute to use on my lash line. See, it comes off quite pigmented, but then on the, the on your eye, it doesn't have as much pigment. Okay, and then the next one is Palmero. Palmero, yep, yeah. right? Yeah, so that's this pink one right here. That's really pretty, it's quite pigmented. I could always use that on my lower lash line next time as well. Okay, and then I already have this next shade on my pinky. That is Seaside. It's this guy right here. I heard a lot of really good things about this shade. Like, people were saying that this one was a really good one. It's quite chunky, though. I don't know. These are so chunky and so just kind of hard to work with. Let me see if I can swatch that again. Yeah, see this one? I mean, there's a lot of fallout in this guy. It is really pretty when you blend it in. Them. This yellow I'm excited to work with too. I really like working with yellows and the fact that it's named Inheritance. That's cool. So this one right here, this is Inheritance. I think I'll try this one on my lid next time. But see you guys, they're just coming off. I don't know if you guys can see that. They're just coming off really, really powdery. So I don't know. This might be another kind of subculture 
issue when the subculture came out like I don't know it was it was kind of hit and miss okay and then this last one is Mediterranean up on the top so just a really pretty silver shade right here it has like a blue undertone which that will be really pretty on the lid gosh I don't know I'm really glad I didn't watch reviews on it though because it would have swayed my opinion totally so that's the first row right, so let's go ahead and swatch the second row just so we can kind of see if we have better luck with the bottom which I'm not sure because the mats are on the bottom and I I just I didn't have really good luck with these but whatever so the first one you have is a state and this I used in my creases my transition shade and it just blended away I mean you can even see that it's super super chalky blended away okay the next one is cabana which I tried to use this one as well it's a really pretty like mustardy shade but when it's blended into that first one I couldn't even see it but see on my hand I don't know that always happens though swatches are so different than when they're actually on your eyelid it always happens that way which is why it's good to swatch and then do a demo I hate when someone posts a video of a palette and they're it's just a swatch video because it could be completely different on your lid hate that okay the next one is coastline which looks like a really pretty peach shade I'm excited to maybe try this one I don't know if this is going to be any better though because again it's super chalky but could be different on the lid so that's coastline and then you have Bahamas which is just a really really pretty like super vibrant pink I know a lot of people were really working with this shade because they were excited that it was in the palette I'm gonna have to look at some reviews on how the pink actually turned out though because to me I don't know it could be really hard to blend out again and then you have Monte Carlo which is more of like that pinky kind of Barbie pink ish which would be pretty with this pink to kind of do a look with this pink's really stain pink has such like a really vibrant um, like when you're making it it has a vibrant dye okay sorry last two so this is Cane's this is the purple shade that a lot of people were working with as well and it seemed really pretty in like the Instagram pictures that I saw so that's Cane's and then the last one I used in my outer V and kind of in my lid more to define everything and it is the shade palm it looks brown you guys but it comes off as more of like a purple undertone so it's that one right there so this is the second row um, as far as my overall thoughts I feel like it could be another subculture I'm gonna have to play with it for a little bit more but overall the look came out really really pretty I was really pleased with how it came out I was very pleased that the bottom lower lash line was pretty after I worked with it for a while but I'm just not sure about the palette I'm kind of mixed right now so I'm gonna have to play with it a little bit more and let you guys know all right you guys so I did swatch the highlighters in the video but I did want to talk to you guys about them what my thoughts are things like the that the loose highlighters come in this guy for a pack of three you can also get them individually this was 65 I think and I was gonna buy two so I just went ahead and purchased all three for the sake of the video and because I don't really have a lot of Anastasia's highlighters, I think I have two. So it comes with three shades and I did talk about these in the video a little bit. I really, really like these, you guys. They are gorgeous. Sometimes it's really hard to work with loose highlighters, but these are absolutely stunning. I really, really, really do like them. I have the gold one, the So Hollywood, which she does have as a pressed highlighter. I have that here on my cheekbones and then all around my face. And then I did use the this guy right here snowflake I use that in my inner corner and then on my brow bone and then I didn't play with this one quite yet the sunset aura it is a little bit dark for this look so I'm gonna wait to play with that one but these are really really awesome you guys if you can choose like one of these I would definitely do the so Hollywood if you don't have the press one already because it's a really really universal highlighter it could work with anyone's skin tone it's absolutely beautiful and I really love so these that is the information on the highlighters all of the price you guys and the links I will put in the description bar so if you're interested in anything you can check down there 
Okay, so we'll go with the dip brown gel next. This I really like too. I purchased it in Auburn. I can't remember why I ended up purchasing this, but I'm really glad I did. I used this in the video as well. It just comes on a really thin spoolie. I do really, really like these kinds of products if I find the right shade because sometimes they make my eyebrows look way too dark. I do really like this. I'm gonna have to play with it. You know, first impressions are always hard because you could really love something when you first play with it and then after a while you just hate it. Although I have been using the highlighters for a few days now and I really do still love them. Okay, the last thing I wanna talk about is the dewy set. I have been using this for a couple days as well. It is really pretty. I love the bottle. It's really, really beautiful. The smell is is awesome it smells like coconut I'm not kidding like I like to just spray my face in general oh my gosh I'm really happy that she came out with a setting spray I'm hoping she comes out with a matte one as well but I do really like the dewy one it smells amazing it's wonderful I mean what can you say you know it's a setting spray I have bought another setting spray even though I'm going to be doing a setting spray declutter video but I had to try this out for you guys so it is really really nice You guys, I have not worn eyeshadow in forever, so I'm really hoping that this tutorial comes out as best as I can. I'm going to be using the Riviera palette today from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and we'll see what we can create. I am taking a break for myself today from everything that's been happening in my life. I've been in and out of the hospital for three weeks with a family member, and it's, you know, been taking a toll on me so I'm just taking a little bit of a break. I also was in a car accident about a month ago and I'm still recovering. I have a really bad knee injury uh, so I'm just kind of taking some time to get that situated before I go back to so, work. Let's so. jump into this tutorial. I am going to do just like a full-on tutorial with you guys on camera. Let's get started. I haven't worn eyeshadow in forever so I know I've already said it like seven okay. times. So creating a wearable look, you guys, because there are so many people who've already done like the pinks and the purples and stuff. And while I love that and I think that that's great to have those kind of looks out there for spring and summer, I wanted to create a, something a little bit more wearable and try out some of the colors that I could use on a daily basis. So we're going to try out some of like the mustardy colors, some of the browns, and then we'll do like a color underneath our lower lash line to really give that pop. I was thinking too like this one right here underneath the lash line because I always feel like my eyes pop when I use blue underneath and since I moved back home to California I haven't really had an issue with watery eyes I think it was Utah and the climate and the overall atmosphere and the environment because I had watery eyes so often and it was all the time it was spring summer winter fall all the time they never went away but since I moved back to the desert I haven't really had an issue with watery eyes, which means I can wear eyeshadow underneath my eyes and just kind of have some fun again with eyeshadow. Okay, so I've already primed my lids with MAC Painterly Paint Pot. So I'm actually going to, I'm going to use just some translucent powder to set it and because it's a little sticky still. And then that way we still have our primer, but we have it set with some uh, translucent powder because I feel like when you use eyeshadow just straight on primer, it's hard to blend out, especially when you're not sure of the palette yet. And then on my lid, I will reapply the primer to really make the eyeshadows pop or I'll use a I'll use like a fix plus to spray on my brush and then dip into the lid shade just to make it pop. So okie dokie artichokies. So I'm just gonna go in with my MAC 224, which is my favorite blending brush in the entire world. And we are going to start with, let's see, it's always good to go light to dark when you have big eyes. Smaller eyes, you wanna go dark to light. So we're gonna try this shade out right here first and use this as our transition shade. This is the shade Estate. And we're just gonna pop our 224 in. So first impression, I am seeing kind of a lot of fallout there as I dip my brush and I didn't really dip it too heavily. But first thing is there's quite a lot of fallout so I hope this isn't like the subculture palette because that was awful. This is pretty. It blends really nice. 
I like this shade a lot. I feel like it's definitely a good transition shade. Um, but again, there is a lot of fallout every time I go in and dip my brush in there. Like I said, you guys, I have not worn eyeshadow in forever. So it's probably been like four or five months. I just got lazy and I didn't want to put eyeshadow on anymore. But when you're an influencer, you got to try out the new stuff. So here I am. Lots of fallout, you guys, holy okay, crap. So I'm going to switch to another 224, and I'm gonna go in with that mustardy shade, it's called Cabana. This one right here, I'm just going to use that in my uh, crease to give it a little bit of, I don't know, a little bit of something. I just kinda wanna see too how pigmented this is. Cause sometimes yellows like this end up looking green on the eye. And I hate that. Yeah, see, blended in with this shade, it's gonna look green. But oh well, I have green eyes, so it might look pretty. I'm gonna take this on my lid a little bit here. So this shade is, it's just like when you put it on your lid, it's just like a brown. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it looks very much like a brown. Especially blended in with that first shade I use, but that's okay. Just kind of blends away. Hmm. So we'll now see. I'm going to okay. go in with a Morphe M433 and I'm going to deepen up my crease a little bit. Well, maybe I'll just deepen it with this color Palm. It's like a really pretty brown. I think that will go well with the color I want to put underneath my lash line. So it's this shade right here. And I'm just going to, again, go in with that Morphe M443. And I'm just going to use this on my outer corner, kind of like in that outer V. This one has way less fallout as the first one. So I'm just going to put it right here in my outer V. They blend nicely, but I feel like the more you blend, they just kind of blend away. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, I decided to take it a little more in. I'm just going to blend it into that shade I used, Cabana. I don't know how I'm liking the mattes. Hopefully the shimmers are a little bit better because right now I'm not impressed. They just kind of blend away. like. This brown is coming out way more purple on the lid, which is fine, but it's just not blending. And it could be that my lids are dry, but this is just like really difficult to blend right now. Let's go in with the lid shade and see if we can salvage this look. Um, I definitely want to put, is that Cicelli's? Sicelli, Sicelli's. I don't know if that what that is, but I want to put that on my lower lash line. So I need a shade on top that's going to allow me that neutral look. So let's use this guy. Yeah, we're going to go in with Yacht on my lid so that I can use that blue on my lower lash line. I'm just using my finger and then I'm using this shade right here. This is a shade Yacht. It is really, really pretty and super pigmented. I don't know, I always feel like shimmers in her palettes are way strong, and then the mattes are just a little bit weaker. But that could just be me again. That could just be my lids, you know, like the fact that I have dry lids right now. This is really pretty and it doesn't need any Fix Plus or anything, so that's a good sign. But I have a lot of fallout on my eye right here. I'm just blending in the shade Palm to the shimmer just so that there's no 
um, like harsh lines or anything. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes and see if I can salvage what is on my lid. I'm just not really liking the matte, you guys. It, I mean, it's it's okay, but okay, that's better. So let me just right off the bat say something about my eyebrows, okay? I've gotten a lot of trolls and a lot of really, really mean comments about my eyebrows. You guys, I have admitted on my channel so many times that I do not Eyebrows are not my strong suit. However, this is the way, the way that I wear them, I am the most comfortable wearing them. If you don't like the way I do them, then you don't have to do your eyebrows this way. You know, everyone has a different way of doing things. Makeup is so great in that way. It's artistic expression and there's no right or wrong way. So if my eyebrows bother you, then don't look at them, okay? I feel like putting the, um, putting my lashes on definitely helped the eye look. I don't know, I'm still kind of torn. It's definitely a very neutral look, which is what I've been going for lately. So we are going to add a pop of color to the lower lash line, but we are going to go in with this shade right here. I don't even know how to say that. I think it's Sicilis. I don't know, I'm not a freaking traveler. So this one right here, and I'm just gonna go in with this flat Morphe. I don't, it doesn't have a number, so it just came in a set. And I'm going to lay that on my lower lash line and then smoke it out a little bit. So right away, kind of putting it into the shade, it's it looks really, really, really pretty. So again, I'm just gonna go right underneath my lash line. So on the eyelid, there's some fallout. Um, it's not as blue or as pigmented as I would have liked on first, first hand, but it's definitely buildable, so that's good. So this color is definitely a buildable blue, but off like, you know, first swipe, it's not super pigmented like the first time you go in. So I'm just going to go in just with a, a black. It's not super pigmented, but I don't want it to be. I'm just trying to get as close to my lash line as possible without getting it in my contacts. Or I guess my contact. I'm gonna take my 224 and I'm just gonna kind of ease up that harsh line a little bit. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my favorite mascara, which is the Total Temptation by Maybelline. I feel like this look is okay, like it's not my favorite I've ever done. Um, but you know, it's a new palette and we're trying it out, and sometimes things just don't go your way. Okay guys, so I went ahead and added some mascara to the bottom lash line. It's looking a little better. I mean, it's cute. You know, it's it's similar to a look I've done before, but I wanted to play with the palette. So, so this bad boy comes with three highlighters, all three of the loose highlighters that came out in the new collection, and it has a really pretty like glitter box to it. So I've been using this one right here, but I want to try this one in my inner corner. Uh, this one is so Hollywood, but this is really, really pretty. And then she has a pinker one, a pinker, a pink one, which is Sunset Aura. And this is a really, really pretty one too. It's like a pink gold. And then of course she has that icy white called Snowflake. And I want to use this in my inner corner and possibly on my brow bone, but we will see. So the So Hollywood one, which I've been using quite a lot, it's just a really pretty like gold undertone. This I feel like would be gorgeous on any skin tone. I'm just gonna add a little more so you guys can kind of see. It's really, really beautiful. And it's so pigmented. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go in with the one we won't be using today, which is this guy. This is Sunset Aura. Oh yeah, this is really, really pretty. So this is more of like that deeper, deeper orangey. This is this one right here. So it has that orangey pinkish undertone, which will definitely be pretty on the lid as a shadow. So this is the shade Snowflake and it's more of that icy white shade. 
And again, this is gonna be really pretty in the inner corner. So it's definitely got that undertone, that bluish undertone to it, which is really pretty on lighter skin tones. So it's that one right there. And we're gonna try this in the inner corner. I'm just gonna go in with the Kat Von D dual-sided. Got a pencil brush on one end. And the little goes a long way, you guys. A really long way. Like you just dip in your brush and they're messy, but they're pretty. Let's go ahead and try out her new brow product. This is the Dip Brow Gel. I'm curious to see how this works. I just wanna kinda see what the pigment is like on this and hopefully I got the right color. It's just on this little doohickey right here like a normal brow gel. And it says it's waterproof, I'm pretty sure. I went in with a lighter brow color to first do my brows just because I knew that I was gonna try out this auburn color. I like it, and if it's waterproof, that's even more awesome. And the wand is really nice too. Okay, so last thing is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set Setting Spray. Are there any directions? Nope, it just has the ingredients. I mean, setting spray is pretty self-explanatory, but I love the bottle. You guys, it's so freaking cute. Oh my gosh, so, so cute. What it looks like. I have a feeling that this is gonna be glittery, so I'm gonna spray it kind of far away because I don't wanna have glitter on my face. Ooh, it smells good. It smells like coconut. Ooh. That smells really, really, really nice. And the mist is nice too. I really like the the mister. The mister. So that's the final look using the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Spring Launch products. I hope you guys like it. I think it, you know, it turned out okay. A little better than I expected it to in the beginning of the the video when I was first working with the shades. But here you have it. Stay tuned. That's my review on the new spring collection from Anastasia. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are, what you feel about the palette, uh, about any of the other items that I mentioned or used in this video. Let me know if you guys have used any of these products in your own lives and how you like them. I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really do appreciate it. Again, I love you all so much. Remember to take care and take care of each other, and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye!